The purpose of this video is to raise awareness of scamming. Scamming is the illegal practice of deliberately misdiagnosing errors and or issues with individuals' computers in order to convince those individuals to pay, often large sums of money, for software and services that they don't need. This video in no way focuses on specific ethnic, religious, political or social groups or individuals. No offence is intended. Scamming is illegal, no matter who does it, and where in the world they do it. Hopefully, by watching this video, potential victims of scamming can avoid the time, cost and embarrassment of being lied to and taken advantage of. Thank you for understanding, and please enjoy the video. Okay, hi guys, today we're going to be using the fake CMD, which was made by Mono Bros. The channel is here if you want to have a look at it. It's basically a f whole fake uh, command prompt where the tree command shows a fake scan, so does the DIR command, and netstat shows that the computer is clean. So I've dropped it in System32. Uh, it takes a little while to load up compared to the normal one, but if we run tree, like a scammer might, it comes up with a fake scan. It, it does flicker a bit, but that's not really an issue. But you can see it's just scanning here, and eventually what will happen is we'll get this result. It will say, no issues found, basically. Same is uh, apparent with the DIR command, and the netstat command says there's no hackers. So let's see how a scammer reacts to that. Okay, what do you have now? Okay, you can join the session. Your name is Mike Oxalong. Yeah. Okay, join the session. How how am I doing that? It just says connecting. I can. <laughs> no, you can join the session. You will be having join the session. Uh, James Mo, is that your name? Yes. Okay, I can see your computer screen now. Okay, you can see my desktop. I see that. And uh, the big. I'm sorry. Oh, I can see that you can see my desktop. I can see your mouse, your mouse moving. Yeah, yes. And where is the pop-up message you have, sir? It keeps coming up every now and again. See, there's one. And man. Cool you are support. using only Internet Explorer. Yeah, Internet Explorer is the best, award-winning web browser. See oh, that? This is what you have. I keep getting them, and then support. they just see that. And where did you get us my number, sir? Well, it occasionally does come up with your number. It occasionally does one thing and comes up with your number for some reason. Okay, okay. I don't know why that might be. Let me check your browser. Even the browser is fine, right? I'm not sure. See, because... I th see these on the tax bar here. Security... There it is. Look, there's your number on it. Okay, call tech support. Uh, okay, give me a moment. Let me okay. check it out. And sir, uh, like, is this the first time you face a problem in your computer? It, I've had problems before, but I've never really had support for it. I've just sort of, you know, tried to fix it myself. And you have a support? No, I've never had support before, as I've literally just said. Uh -huh. So, are you able to help me try and fix the computer? And what is... Oh yeah, my family members tried to support me with it. Yeah. My family members tried I'm to support sorry, me sir. before. But that was from ages ago, That that's from a long time ago. Can we delete that icon from my so, desktop? Uh, like... It's not even used anymore. My, fa my family member tried to support me. It didn't really do much. So I can delete that icon from the desktop. And uh, most of the time, what do you used to do inside your computer? Oh, all sorts of things. I do. I sometimes do online banking, uh, shopping, and all your usual stuff like internet surfing and whatever. With, of course, the best browser ever, Internet Explorer. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, the thing is that, sir, when I look at your computer, you are not having any protection inside your computer. Right. So because of that, you can directly infect with the viruses, or you can directly be in hack. Right, okay, and are you able to sort of run a, a system scan to check for viruses to see if there's any on here already?
I'm sorry, what do you mean? Are you able to see if there are any viruses on the computer? Sorry, what am I doing? Viruses on the computer. Yes, you will be having a lot of viruses. Let us check it out. Okay. So don't use your don't use your keyboard. Okay. Don't use your mouse and your keyboard. It just comes up with this white screen. I don't know what's going on. I'm checking out. What is this? Madarcho scammer. What is this? Madarcho scammer. scammer. What does Madarcho scammer mean? I'm asking you, what is this? I don't this know what this is. In your computer. I'm not a technician. You're the technician. You should know what it is. And I have no idea. You can see this. And arrows has occurred in the script on this page. That's strange. I don't know what that means in the top left, though. I don't even know. Is that even English? Where's the X button? Sir, I cannot understand you. Never mind. So, why, why are we having these issues? What's tax manager? What is this? Marco to scammer. I'm not Are sure. you a scammer? Sorry? Are you a scammer? Am I why would I do something as bad as scamming? Scamming is disgusting. Why would I do that? I don't know what Madder Child scammer means. What? what are you doing? You Can you close it, this one? I don't know what this is. Can't we just close it? Can we not close it? Just go like that. When the program requires a missing Windows... Just wait for a while. Wait for a while. How old is your computer? It's probably about three years old now. And sir, can I know from where you are calling? Where am I calling? I'm calling from the US. Yes, I know you are calling from US. In which state right now you are resigning? Uh, I'm in Illinois. And uh, is this your personal computer or your work computer? This is my personal computer. Um, yeah, it's not. I do occasionally do work on it, but it's and my the user personal computer. So what's this that you've got open? This. Next start. What's next start? What's this about? Active connections. What was that? Like, sir, your computer, your computer is getting fined. Sorry? You don't have any problem in your computer. Right, okay. So, but, but why was I getting those errors? Even we cannot check the viruses. But why can't you? Why are you checking each and everything? Because we need to check each and everything. That is why you are getting connection with me. Oh, uh, okay. Can you see this? Some of the application is stopped running. This stop running means like the viruses they have stopped in, uh, running inside your computer. Hang on a minute. Didn't he just say that my computer's fine? You don't have any problem in your computer. Yeah, thought so. Well, that's not very good. The viruses have made them stop. Yes, that's not very good. Right, well, that doesn't sound good. Viruses. Sir, the thing is that uh, the viruses. The viruses you have inside your computer memory, sir, it block all the things which we try to do. Well, what, that's and not really uh, do not use your mouse. If you if you if you are not willing to fix by yourself, don't use your mouse. Okay. 
I don't want to fix it by myself. I need a technician to do it. So uh, the thing is this, sir. You are not having the antivirus inside your computer. You can't. Like in order to fix out the problem you have, sir, you need to uh, you need to pay for the antivirus which your computer is needed, sir. Okay. So. So how like much money uh, is this here. Yes, sir. The minimum, t uh, the cheapest price which you will be getting the antivirus, it will be a one-year antivirus. Yeah. That will that will cost you one hundred and ninety-five dollars from your end. Uh, okay. Um. And what antivirus is it? Why do I keep saying it wrong? What antivirus is it? Uh, according to your device, will arrange the antivirus. Maybe you will be getting a Norton, or you will be getting a Mega Fisher. That will be a network security the for you. The worst antivirus ever. The viruses will not be entered again inside your computer. Okay. After you get this kind of uh, yeah, protection the from your of end. The, of the antivirus world. Okay, so how am I going to pay for these these great programs? Yes, the thing is that uh, like if you keep this kind of viruses inside your computer, that even your networking. We don't know what will be happen in your networking, all right? No. Maybe, maybe the hackers they can hack your networking. And how many devices you have connected to your internet, sir? Like a, uh, like your iPhone or like your Android phone? Can you just counting out how much device you have connected? Probably about five devices in total. About five years, uh, five device. Yeah, in total, yeah. Are there any other sort of scans you can run? Just give me a moment. Let me check it out. Okay. Look, we cannot work anything inside your computer. The virus just has disturbed each and everything. Even we cannot do anything. Sorry. So, do you have any local store nearby? Do I have a local a store? Local why would? Why? Why do I need a local store? Because you can go and fix your uh, computer on the local store. You can take your computer in the local store. Is that because that you're a scammer and you have no idea what you're doing? I have an idea what I'm you doing, don't, but because uh, otherwise you would that know that that's a fake version of command prompts. I know you're a scammer. I know you're a scammer, and that's why I'm sending these messages through Dark Comet. Uh, I know you are the one who is putting these things. Yeah, but you, you don't and know anything you else. And you don't know anything else. You don't know anything else. You think you know each and everything, but you don't. You're stupid. Okay. Give me a moment. I'll give you a moment. Sis Protector. That sounds legit, that does. Sounds as legitimate as, you know, other things yes, like PC this, Optimizer Pro. Yes, I will, pro wow. I, will pro I will provide you. Hello. Why were you gonna why were you gonna run the net stack command to show me hackers that don't exist? Yes, we'll try to take your computer. You're so stupid, I'm sorry. So you know right nothing now, about computers, you're a scammer. You don't uh, know anything about computers at all. You try and think you do, but you don't at all. Sorry so about right that. Now, let, let me run to, uh, let me provide you the protection which we can provide you. You know what, I think this has gone far enough, scammer. All your support's fake, it's pointless to even try and I know what you were doing was a scam. So, yeah, um, as you can see by this, you're a scammer and you're a mad chud. So, yeah, try and get a job as real technical support and stop ripping people off on the daily. You absolute disgrace. Any response, scammer? Siski, go on, do Siski, I've got a keylogger. Not a problem. That's what I thought. No response at all. Have nothing to say.